of the presence of beggars in different areas. While there is an existing national law or an ordinance that prohibits the public from giving alms to beggars, these mendicants continue to exist because there are still people who support their illegal activities. anti mendicant law is uh, based from Presidential Decree Number 1563 in the President Marcos, wherein it is prohibited to any person to um, beg for alms or even to give alms to anyone who is begging. Penalty will be 500 pesos and imprisonment for not more than two years. So it could be 500 pesos penalty or imprisonment for not more than two years or both. So fine and imprisonment. Wala naman tayo ibang klase ng paglilimus eh, kundi yun ang karaniwan ha. Yung mga bata, umaakyat sila sa jeep para maglimus. Uh, ang iba naman ay may kumakanta no, para makapukaw, makakuha ng, ano, ng, ng pansin. At ang iba naman ay merong nakapwesto. So iba't iba yan eh. Merong persons with disability, merong mga bata o batang lansangan or street children. Meron mga badyaw. So, meron naman talaga mga informal settlers. So, dahil sa kahirapan, below poverty line, as in talagang wala. Yung wala talagang kinakain. Poorest of the poor. Yun yung mga talagang napipilitan mag uh, mga coordination with the Conservancy. So, it was the mendicants ang um, in-charge doon ng BSW niya. Ano. So, kung meron sila mga operations, kaya um, uh, kinu-coordinate din nila sa amin. So, sabi nila, para kasama kami sa pagano kasi batas yung pinapatupad natin. So, last year, nag-conduct kami ng operation pagka Pajaw, yun naman ang nanghihingi pag December o yun, mga sumasakay sa, okay. sa jeep. O, o, kaya lang, kami as enforcer, hindi kami pwedeng ano kasi may special method ng pag-ano. So, ang DSWD ang talagang uh, nakakaalam nun. Kaya sila ang um, nagsasabi sa amin kung kailangan ng operation, kasi sila ang pag-coordinate sa mga concern agency. Alimbawa, kung mga psychotic o kaya ay badyaw, yung dinadala sa mga probinsya. Uh, street ang coordination namin sa kanila na magkaroon ng regular uh, operations kung sa inyo nyo sa mga mendicants. Kasi uh, kung masulput-sulput lang, hindi magiging maganda. So, ginagawa namin na part na yung uh, kami ng kanila regular program. Kasi DSWD ang may regular program. So, meron din naman tao na nakaputok na doon. Kasi siyempre, parang um, ano dyan yung kahirapan, di ba? No? Tapos, yung pagdami din ng tao dito sa Kalamba kasi naging, uh, naging ano kami, center of growth. So, marami na dito ng mga uh, factories, tapos marami mga commercial establishments. So, uh, so marami mga pumupunta dito, akala nila marami mga trabaho. So, bagay nyo na. So, minsan, nung may opportunities ka lang, <coughs> minsan, hindi uh, naman sila qualify. So, magre-resort sila minsan sa panghihingi. Tapos, wala lang nila silang uh, 
kung walang trabaho, so mag-squat na lang sila. Ako sa Nasa tao rin naman yun kahit ipatupad yun kung nandilimot pa rin eh. The law defines mendicants as those persons who have no visible and legal means of support, a lawful employment, and who are physically able to work but neglect to apply themselves to some lawful calling and instead use begging as means of living. When Presidential Decree 1563 was created 35 years ago, the government already knew that there is an immediate need to provide appropriate services to enable mendicants to meet their basic needs and develop self-reliance, but the government enforces failed to implement it. The law stated, mendicancy breeds crime, creates traffic hazards, endangers health, and exposes mendicants to indignities and degradation. The main purpose of creating the law is to stop mendicancy, prevent the exploitation of infants and children through mendicancy, and to provide rehabilitative services for those already exploited or in immediate danger of exploitation.